Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today is actually a collab with Heidi from Happily Thriving Heidi and Lindsay over at Domer Home. Uh, I will link their channels down below and there is also going to be a playlist if you guys want to check out some more DIYs. Um, I'll put that down in the description as well so you guys can check that out. So this is a DIY floral challenge and we were challenged to make our own spring inspired flowers. So I decided to make these two mini canvas felt flowers. I've actually made bigger versions of these years ago for my daughters when they were before they were born actually and I have them hanging in their bedrooms and I thought they were just so cute. I was able to make both of these flowers for under ten dollars. I had already had the paint and I purchased the canvas at Dollar Tree. Uh, the felt was at Hobby Lobby for like around 33 cents a piece and later on I will show you guys the embellishments I found and those were from Michaels. They were $4.99 but I had a 40% off coupon. So the first thing I did was just take the spray paint and you're going to spray paint the entire canvas. So these are the 8x10 size that I found. I didn't even realize Dollar Tree made them this big or sold them like in this size so I was very pleasantly surprised. So once I spray painted those I just set those aside so they could dry. And then now I'm just taking a pencil and I'm kind of just sketching out a little petal. I didn't have a template or anything for it so I decided just to kind of freehand it. And you're going to need big ones and little ones. And I think I made about 12 of the big ones. So once you kind of draw one how you like it, then you're going to cut that out and then just lay it down and make 11 more. Um, you may need more, you may need less, it just depends on how it works out for you. I thought that mine my two flowers were going to be identical and they actually weren't. I needed more for the second one. So uh, yeah, so you're going to cut those out first and then you're going to go on and do the little ones too. And for the small ones, I think I cut out somewhere between 12 and 15. Uh, you can always just start somewhere and then once you start gluing them on, you can always cut more if you need them. Uh, they're pretty easy to cut out and everything. All right, next, once your canvases are dry, I am taking my little craft paint, and this is in a platinum color. It's one of the metallic ones, and I was kind of trying to go for like a galvanized look. I'm obsessed with it right now. I don't know if you guys saw my windmill uh, DIY that I recently did, but I'm obsessed with the galvanized look. So I'm just taking a little sponge that I have, and I'm just gonna sponge the entire canvas, sides and everything, and just kind of give it that metallic look. And once you have all your little petals cut out, you are gonna take your hot glue gun and just kind of fold them in a little bit. And you're gonna to wanna to be very careful because I burned myself like a million times trying to do this. Uh, I tried to do it with a pencil there for a little while, but it was just hard. Like the bigger ones were not that bad, but the small ones were kind of hard to like get them to stay together. And then, so I just went through and did this to all of them. And then I started putting them on the canvas. And I didn't get a ruler out or anything, but I just kind of tried to space them so they had like equal parts on the top, the bottom, and then on the sides as well. So I did have to move a couple of them a few times just because they weren't completely centered, but you could totally get a ruler out or a tape measure and get it perfect. And then once you get that outside layer of the large ones, you're gonna go back in with the small ones and you're gonna do two more layers with those. And it just depends on how many you're gonna use. Um, I think I used like 15, uh, but yeah, you're just gonna fill in all the areas that you think need to be filled in, fill in any gaps. Um, it's just really however you want it to look. And then the finishing touches were these pretty little embellishments that I found at Michael's and I think I said they were like $4.99 but I had a 40% off coupon and they actually were for like a necklace or something or a charm so I ended up cutting off the top part of it and then I just glued them right in the center and I think they turned out super cute. Okay, 
right guys, that does it for today's DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed these flowers. I had so much fun making them. And thank you so much to Heidi and Lindsay for hosting this challenge. I had so much fun and I just love doing these little DIY challenges because it just makes me think outside of the box and do something different. So if you guys are new, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye.